The dream of an affordable electric vehicle, EV, with a decent range always seems just out of reach. Chevrolet had the Bolt, until it was discontinued, though it's slated for a comeback, eventually. Meanwhile, the market keeps unveiling larger, bulkier EVs with massive batteries capable of powering small neighborhoods. While it's clear that businesses prioritize profitability and higher margins from premium models, it seems like consumers seeking budget-friendly EV options are often left disappointed. Kia aims to change that with the upcoming 2026 Kia EV3. This subcompact electric crossover promises to offer the same advanced features found in the brand's larger models, along with some improvements that could eventually spread across the lineup. With a solid battery and a target price range between $35,000 and $50,000, the EV3 looks to balance affordability and practicality. But does it deliver? Promising specs. Many smaller EVs struggle with undersized batteries and range numbers that don't align with typical American driving needs. The EV3, however, packs an 81.4 kWh battery in a body that's more compact than the Nero, its sibling. It boasts an impressive range of over 370 miles according to the WLTP cycle, although in the US, it's expected to land closer to the crucial 300-mile mark. There's also a 58.3 kWh battery option, though it's uncertain whether both versions will be available in the US. Unlike some of its larger counterparts, like the Hyundai Ioniq 5, which features an 800-volt system, the EV3 runs on a 400-volt architecture. However, Kia still estimates a 31-minute charge from 10% to 80% on a 350 kilowatts charger, even though the EV3's peak DC fast charging rate is capped at 130 kilowatts. The EV3 lineup is expected to expand over time, eventually offering all-wheel drive and a high-performance GT version. Initially, however, the US will receive the EV3 in a single-motor, front-wheel drive setup. This configuration, which may still be tweaked before its U.S. debut, currently delivers 201 horsepower and 209 pound-feet of torque, allowing the EV3 to reach 62 miles per hour in about 7.5 seconds. Kia anticipates that the upcoming AWD model will shave this time to under 7 seconds, while the GT variant should do it in under 6 seconds. Power figures for these future models haven't been released yet. Upgraded Tech Despite the focus on affordability, Kia hasn't skimped on tech features for the EV3. In fact, it introduces a few new technologies that are likely to make their way across Kia's EV range in the future. One highlight is the iPedal 3.0, the latest version of Kia's multi-stage regenerative braking system. This updated system separates one pedal driving from maximum regeneration strength, giving drivers the flexibility to combine one pedal driving with any level of regen, even in reverse. This works in tandem with Kia's Smart Regenerative System 3.0, which uses GPS and the vehicle sensors to adjust regeneration strength based on traffic conditions or road features like speed bumps and roundabouts. Activating this feature is simple, just hold the right steering wheel paddle for a moment. Additionally, the Driving Range Guide offers a glimpse into the maximum and minimum range based on the driver's habits, making it easier to adopt more efficient driving techniques. The EV3 gets some other, smaller tweaks too. Upgraded heat management promises better charging behavior in cold weather, something we at C-D take seriously, as many of our long-term EVs are often hampered by extremely slow charging rates in the hellish depths of Michigan winter. The HVAC system has been rejiggered as well. It's now a bit more compact, which, according to Kia, adds a whopping 2.4 inches of footwell space, bringing more openness to the compact's cabin. Driving the EV3. Soul is not really anybody's first preference as a venue for vehicle evaluation, but we think it was an appropriate choice here. The EV3 is not some corner carver. It's a simple compact EV meant for small families and urbanites. Soul's legendary traffic and long stretches of highway are, therefore, a proper analog for how most of these cars will spend most of their time. With that in mind, we walked away excited by the EV3's promise. The loaded GT Line model we drove rode on 19-inch wheels, 2 inches larger than the base alloys, and yet we found the ride to be quite smooth. Body motions were kept in check, and while there was an inherent softness to the ride, it never wallowed. We imagined things would be even more serene on the 17s. Every one of the available wheel designs looked amazing too. Other automakers should be taking notes here. 
This chunky little downsized EV9 has the right amount of urge for its mission. We never found ourselves lacking for acceleration, and truth be told, it was refreshing to drive an EV that wasn't an attempt to live life a quarter mile at a time. This is an approachable, appropriate amount of motive force, something that'll work great for people who have little experience with or desire for something with Corvette levels of hustle. Our time bouncing around Seoul's vast urban landscapes gave us plenty of opportunity to fiddle with the new Regan settings. We weren't big fans of the smart regenerative system, as we prefer something with a more linear response that provides predictability. However, those who want something like this should enjoy it, as we found an excellent blend between friction and regenerative braking. Decoupling Max Regan's strength and one pedal driving also turned out to be a smart move. It added a dash of driver customizability without taking anything away from the experience, and we hope it'll make its way to more models soon. The EV3's interior is pretty great too. A mix of recycled or otherwise sustainable materials maintains the green vibe, and we will never complain when fabric makes its way onto dashboard trim. Despite its compact footprint, the cabin is pretty roomy, even in the back, where we were able to sit behind a six-foot-tall driver without our knees approaching the seat backs. The charging port's low, inset position kept the lower half feeling roomy, with dedicated tray space for wireless charging and knick-knack storage. There's also a trick little table built into the center armrest that can extend out for use while you're charging. It had no problem hosting a small laptop or tablet. Kia didn't hold back on the tech front in the EV3. As in the EV9, a tripartite display spans some 30 inches of dashboard, with the climate controls nestled between the digital gauge display and the infotainment touchscreen. It's frustrating that the HVAC's controls are constantly obscured by the steering wheel, though, this is perhaps Kia's and Hyundai's biggest L in recent memory. But, thankfully, there are physical knobs and buttons for controlling temperature, volume, and swapping between various corners of the easy-to-use infotainment. Rear occupants get their own USB-C charging ports built into the front seat backs, which is a great placement that keeps cables and phones out of trip hazard territory. Wait for it. It's always a little tricky pulling impressions from a drive that is as far ahead of a car's debut as this one. Everything we've heard thus far points to a calendar year 2026 debut. But based on our early experiences, we're optimistic that the EV3 will slot into the US lineup with ease. The promise of more affordable EVs might not be bearing much fruit yet.